everybody and welcome to my SmackDown review. A lot of things happened as the authority and the new WWE champion came out, Seth Rollins. The authority was out there with him as Seth Rollins pretty much came out. You know, he solidified himself as the new champion and that he won at WrestleMania and everything. And he talked about being on to the day show and having all these duties of being a world champion now since this is now new to him. And he would have given Lesnar a rematch. He would have even gave him SmackDown tonight, which clearly wasn't going to happen. But Lesnar screwed himself over and got himself suspended, he says. And he was talking about the rematch until Orton came out. And he's saying, um, so you know, Lesnar got with dessert and everything, but she got a bigger problem. That's dealing with Randy Orton. And pretty much Orton talked about, you know, what happened to him, everything, how he got RKO to WrestleMania. Or the revenge Orton got a few weeks ago on Raw beating the hell out of him. And now he'd say because he never got his rematch for the WWE title last year. And he wants his rematch. As everybody chanting RKO, Rollins says, yeah, well, you're not going to do it because it's the future's time. And Orton pretty much called Big Show and Kane stooges that they're nothing. That you're just Big Red Riding Hood now and stuff. And Kane pretty much was pissed. And he says, you're going to go on a match against the Big Show up next. As they kind of came back from commercial, Orton pretty much had Big Show with that DDT, and before he could go in for the RKO, um, pretty much security and Kane attacked him then. Ron's getting ready to go in for the curb stomp, but Ryback came out and took everybody out then, hitting a shell shock on Kane as they pretty much, you know, took everybody out of the ring. Yeah. Which I guess the authorities back, so it's all tricks again. The Bell is on commentary as Naomi went against Natalia. Naomi won't have a bit of a good match, but it, it, I don't know. The Bellas, they're horrible on commentary. So, yeah. Uh, then Kane and Ron was in the back as Ron saw him like, um, about Kane and everything. So don't listen to Orton. He's, he's trying to warp your mind and everything. And then pretty much Ron says, this stinks. And he says, really, your office stinks. It's the toilet flush and Dean Ambrose is in there. It's Kane. So I said, you're going to go out and match against Luke Harper tonight. And Ambrose like, okay. He was going against him. He was going to go against him then. Uh, they did an interview with Roman Reigns as they talked about what happened at WrestleMania and everything. And he said, yeah, you know, I got back up. I went after Brock Lesnar. I took on the beast. And he said he's beating Seth Rollins for but he's going to come after Seth Rollins. He says Brock Lesnar did a hell of a beating on him, but he said he's going to come back. And he said he will become, he will become champion and beat Seth Rollins again. Even though a lot of people say, you know, Roman Reigns should be more pissed even because he lost the biggest match of his career at WrestleMania. So he shouldn't even be more pissed in a way. Uh, Miz went against Truth. Miz won. Then Sandow came out and attacked them as everybody cheered. So this match wasn't really a lot. John Cena came out. So he's the new, new United States Champion again. And you know... Talk about having a WrestleMania and they will put the U.S. title on the line. Talk about open challenges and everything because of the respect the U.S. title deserves. And he talked about Rusev them that Rusev was nothing but a douchebag. Well, even though they bleeped that out, but so he didn't like Rusev for multiple reasons. That was one of them. And he says the U.S. doesn't suck and everything. And like, he's proud of the U.S. title about the liberty and all that stuff. And and he's the champion again. Um. Even people who are authority thing are people like players, a lot of greats that became the United States champion. Um, Rusev came out saying WrestleMania was a travesty. Lana was with him this time. As uh, Prima says, that was a fluke victory, they went on to say. Rusev wanted his rematch. And he says, America sucks. It should be Rusev country. It should be Rusev world right now. And he's going to crush John Cena Extreme Rules in Chicago, he said. Um... And then Cena pretty much made fun of Rusev as he wa as uh, Rusev walked to the ring because he talked like an idiot and stuff. And then Rusev says, "I'm going to take you down." And he says, "Like this," as the flag usually comes down. And Cena just kept looking up where and it never came down. And then the American flag down came down and Cena did came down. Even though Cena's being funny and mostly jokingly, even though Rusev's supposed to be serious and stuff. Um, it was a good segment, and hopefully someone will have extreme rules. Dean Ambrose went against Luke Harper. Pretty much a good match. Pretty much in DQ, as um, Harper put Ambrose through the U.S. I mean, put Ambrose through the, um, put him through the table then after that. So, uh, maybe a few will go down there. 
The primetime players mocked the New Day as they kind of talked about them. So it's about hair nappy and, you know, that the New Day and it was like crickets, crickets. Would you, I, I, so I guess maybe they're going to turn the New Day heel now. That's the primetime players in phase. Or it's going to go around the other way because everybody knows the New Day sucks and they need to end this gimmick. Why do they continue to keep this bullshit on? Probably because of Vince, but I don't know where this go. And uh, like I said for the New Day, they suck. I like Kofi Kingston. I wish you'd see better from him, but unfortunately he's in this horrible gimmick right now. So he's just got to deal with it. Sheamus came out with new music and everything, as it was going to be a tag team match with Brian and Ziggler versus Sheamus and Barrett, but since, you know, he was out, since um, Ziggler couldn't compete, uh, Sheamus came out, cut a promo, I talked about Brian and Ziggler, he's a rapper to the real men around here, what happened to them? Sure, Brian and Ziggler, right, but they can't even get the job done, they can't even get a match to main event WrestleMania this year and everything, and now he is back, he's back and everything come be a main about a main eventer and everything that those guys aren't main event you just want to work where the real men at as Seamus went into Brian and Barrett was on commentary there was a lot of blood kind of kind of getting the match through near the end you know the finish I'll say the finish wasn't that good but it was a good match pretty much um Seamus won by count out and then Barrett hit Brian while he's already bleeding with the bull hammer to win by count out so Seamus pretty much um put Brian in the ring and did like you know count me I believe or oh, not count pretty much attacked me right after so yeah it was a um, it was a good match I'll say that for SmackDown and now just to get onto some important news as people now know I may have done this really, really late but um, news is that AJ has retired from the WWE from entering competition why I don't know there's probably more details they said she probably wanted to leave anyway but a lot of people now kind of geared towards CM Punk to the reason why. AJ has now retired from the dead of being from in the ring now. I don't know what's the meaning. I don't know what's going to say about that or anything. But we'll just have to find out and see. But I don't know. Where is it going to go? We'll just have to find out. But um, once you know it's me, it's me, H W D Come in to do some views. You know, you know I am, know I do. With the show, I get with the flow. You know how it goes. I'm just going down, smack down. And make sure you check out my WrestleMania 31 live reactions and review that are posted right now. Please click anything, the videos to pick them in the page name. Well, you know my page name. So, you know, comment, subscribe, and everything. I'm out of here. See you guys later. Peace.